I have four brothers, and we all fight MMA. When they were like three, four years old, I used to put them to fight each other. You know, we make tournaments like we'll do a boxing tournament, a wrestling tournament, and a karate tournament. I like punching people in the face. It's not a problem to me. Man. If I don't do this, there's, there's nothing else for me. You know, what else am I going to do? Manager is uh, Tina Vidal Smith, boss lady. It's Tina Vidal is my agent. My manager is Tina Vidal. Tina Vidal. Tina Vidal Smith is my manager. Tina Vidal Smith is my manager. It's a good look, you know, something good for us. And watch out for her. Don't let the looks fool you. She will kick your ass in a minute. Yeah, Tina's like a little, a little pit bull on steroids, man. You gotta win your next fight, or I'm not gonna manage you anymore because I'm just not gonna waste my time. The advantage of being a female in this industry is people remember who you are. Because it's not expected. You know, there are no other women in this business, really. Come on, come on. Please, please. I do everything for my fighters. I manage their careers, I do their media and PR, I get them sponsorship and endorsement deals, I negotiate their contracts, I pick their opponents, I do everything but wipe their ass. Still to this day, she won't know like what this move is or that move is, but that doesn't matter because she's just about getting money and that's all I care about. I just have an ability to get things done like no one else can. I'm gonna advance you 5,000 for the fight. I'm gonna take $10,000 and I'm gonna leave you with 10,000. She is probably the best I know at getting uh, from point A to point B very quickly. Andre's one of the managers that works for my firm. My, you know, quote unquote MMA expertise has been able to do, you know, wonders for our combined client roster. We call Andre the super fan. Like, you were going crazy in love. You have a man crush on so No, 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 no. That's all you heard in that fight. That's my fucking man! Passion is my biggest weakness. I know for a fact that it holds me back. I've been tempted to fire Andre on multiple occasions. It's a situation where somebody is making the same mistake over and over and over again. It's just not acceptable. So walk away. And I told everybody, look, I'm going to meet with this guy between 12 and 7 at night. I don't want any calls. This is important. It's a huge deal for us. No, tell what happens before this meeting. Wait, let me get No, no, no. Can you I gotta, get there? You gotta tell Are what you happens. telling the story or am I telling the story? I got a feeling when you start no, lying. No, well, how, how have I? I haven't said anything. You're lying by omission. Oh, stop. I said 12 to 7. I haven't said anything else yet. I think Ray is the idea maker. And I'm the glue that puts things together. Was I right in the end? The Was I right in the right. end? Did it work out? Why did it work out? Did it work? Not why. Did it work out? You know, when we first met, there was that tension, but it never got there. Regardless of how good looking he thinks he is, it is not a pretty sight. The, the fact is, I'm a good looking guy. A lot of girls want me. He is very white, and he is a skinny fat man. We don't cross it because we make too much money together. I'm very much a flirt. And if that helps me get somewhere in this business, then it is what it is. Tina, she's my friend. Alexis Vila, <laughs> Alexis Vila wants to give me a little black baby. He husband, he's going to try to kill me later. For her husband, if he needed to punch him, I would understand. Alexis Vila is crazy, but he has heart. Alexis Vila is fighting with a broken hand, and his next fight is the toughest fight of his life. Could mean the end of his career by doing further damage. I'd be fighting no matter what with my hand bro. Mike Rio is one of my top prospects because he's currently undefeated and he has a whole lot of star power. We've been looking for an opponent that's going to test my skills, test what I have inside of me, and show the world that I'm ready. I'm UFC ready. <sighs> I've got, a, I've got a lot riding on this fight for Mike Rio. We're going to be the fight tonight. I do see him as a big cocky, bit of a prima donna. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. It's a good look, you know, something good for us.